Abide in Jesus, and ye shall receive power. This is your daily devotional reading. Inspired by the Spirit, August 23rd, the Health Food Ministry. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the time is now past. Send the multitude away, that they may go into the villages, and by themselves the victuals. But Jesus said unto them, They need not depart, give ye them to eat. Matthew 14 verse 15 and verse 16 I have earnest words to speak to those who shall engage in the health food business. There is to be an entirely different feature brought into the work of our food stores, restaurants, and into every line in which our food productions are handled. This work must be carried forward as a means of gospel enlightenment to those who have not given themselves to the Lord. Those who handle these foods need daily the counsel of the one who created food for the 5,000 hungry men. The work of our food stores and restaurants must be carried on in such a way that there will be no loss financially. We must not forget that this line of work needs to live, but all corrupting influences must be weeded out from it. Keep on the gaining side we must. But what is the use of carrying on this work if we have to sacrifice principles of justice, mercy, and the love of God? What is the use of carrying it on if through its influence no souls are enlightened and prepared to lay hold upon the word that is their spiritual food? Upon those connected with this work, there should be urged the necessity of calling the attention of the people with whom they are brought into contact to the truth of heavenly origin. There should be appointed to the health food work men who are well qualified to speak words in season and out of season, and who can enlighten the minds of men and women in regard to the truth. Special wisdom is needed in order to understand when to speak and when to keep silent. Let each work up pretty much for spiritual understanding. Inspired by the Spirit, August 23rd.